You know, I don't think of myself as a caregiver. I think of myself as Joe's wife. The first year when he was first diagnosed in 2002, things went downhill rapidly. He went from walking to a wheelchair within a year. So we went through walking to a cane, to the walker, then on to the wheelchair. Things that I used to be able to do pretty easily, I can't do. Um, does she help me get dressed every day? Yeah, she does. She fixes meals every day, in and out of bed every day. And, and not so much because she has to, be, but because it just makes my life better. Dad and Becky, uh, I think uh, a lot of people realize that, that the relationship means a lot to both of them. And that's in an emotional way and in a physical way. Both of them really support each other. And not only do they support each other, but anyone that comes in contact with them, they definitely know that it's a supporting and, and nurturing environment. I, I just don't know how she gets the energy to do what she does. You know, going to work, helping dad, you know, cooking dinner, caring for the dog, whatever it might be. Um, it's it's uh, certainly inspiring. I do things so automatically anymore, I don't even think about it. Just anything. If I can see that he's having trouble doing something, I'm just automatically there. Maybe sometimes too soon. Sometimes I need to probably remember to step back a little bit and let him at least try. She does a great job doing these things, taking care of me. I don't feel like a patient. I mean, that's the key. Um, I still feel like a husband, I still feel like a man. As far as the relationship goes, I'm not sure that it's changed a whole lot. The love is still there, and I think everybody around us will see that. You know, yeah, I have to do a lot more than I did if he's not. You know, I have to drive everywhere we go. I don't get that luxury to sit in the passenger seat anymore. He still pays the bills online. He does. <laughs> I don't have to worry about bills or have to fight with the insurance companies. He's here to do all of that. Joe and I attended the uh, finish of a challenge walk, I believe, in 2005. And I looked at him on the way home from that because that's a really emotional thing if you've never been. Um, and I said, you know what? I'm turning 50 next year. I want to do this walk. And in the last three to five years, I've won the Mission Possible Award. Everybody gets the Mission Possible Award if they raise $1 for every person with MS in the Gateway chapter. For 2009 walk, I did get to wear the number one bib because I raised the most money. I tell everybody that I come in contact with because I, I really truly believe this. Things happen for a reason. And I guess every year I think more strongly that things happen for a reason. I think Joe and I were meant to be together. I don't know if it's because somebody greater than me knew that he was going to get MS and I was going to be there to care for him. Joe is everything to me. I'm fortunate because Joe is my soulmate. There's a lot of people in this world that never know what that feeling is. They never find their real soulmate. And I found mine. I would do anything for him because I know he'd do it for me. He always talks about he doesn't give back as much as I give to him. That's not true. He shows love day in and day out towards me. And he cares about my feelings. He's always apologizing for me having to do things. And he doesn't need to. I don't know. I think of myself maybe as a care partner in some ways, but more I'm his wife. I just really don't think of myself as a caregiver. But on the other hand, to all caregivers out there, I admire every one of them. I know what they go through every day. I wish this award could go to every caregiver.